Isn't the first frequency 14? 14. 14 divided by, what's the sample size? 20. Oh, we didn't talk about this. We didn't talk about it. Do you guys want to do that by hand? Well, you could. Could you do it by hand? Sure. Do you want to do all these problems by hand, though? So what are you going to do? You guys going to use a calculator? OK, good. But what kind of calculator do you use? Scientific, you're not going to use that calculator you buy at what? Well, no, you don't buy, well, you get the calculator you get at the bank free. It only has like four operations and maybe very little memory. That little, you guys remember those things? Don't use that. They're not very accurate. Um, what kind of calculator are you guys going to use? Anybody, you guys going to go out and spend um, big money on a calculator, right? Is that right? You want to go spend $100 on a calculator? $200. Go get, right? You're going to do that? Don't need to do that. Okay? If some of you already have those calculators or you already did that, then that's fine. Okay? We really don't need to do that here for this course. We're not, you know, I'm not, I'm not testing you on whether or not you can actually use a calculator in that way where you take advantage of all those features and the power. That's really not where I'm interested in, you know. Um, so any scientific calculator, preferably solar, so you don't have to buy ba batteries, will, will do. My personal favorite, and please take my advice if you don't. Um, if you don't take it, what will happen is there will be a point where you actually you could suffer. Because some of these calculators work sort of in a way that's not um, very efficient, at least, for you. Um, so let's see. Do anybody have their calculators here? Ah, let's see your calculators. Let's bring them out. Okay. And I get, again, the reason I'm, I'm telling you this now is maybe, you know, think about what I'm going to say. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Yeah, a lot of you guys have the same one. Not my favorite. I'll tell you why. Oh, not my favorite. Anybody have my favorite calculator? My favorites. My favorite here. My favorite. Something like this. I love, and I'll tell you why, I love this Casio calculator, FX115MS. It's really really the newest solar scientific calculator that Casio makes. How much did you spend on this calculator? $14. $14. Nice. Where'd you buy it? OK. You don't have to spend $100 to $200 on a calculator. OK. Does anybody know why I really enjoy this calculator? Not only because it's solar. It's not only because it's inexpensive. Exactly. What happens with these calculators is everything that you enter is on that top line. So you can double check your work. Okay? Some of your other calculators, you can't see that. You just get an answer. Sometimes you make a mistake. It may not be so important when you can just divide numbers. But later on, for some of the things that we're going to do, it'll be become much more vital. You don't have to write numbers along the way as you do it. You see it all here symbolically. You guys with me on that? Okay? And that's, for the most part, that's one of the major things why I like that. The second thing is it actually behaves properly the way things should behave. Some of these calculators, it's like you have to enter everything backwards. You know, there's a whole system with how you work that calculator and enter it. So then you're juggling two things. You're juggling what you're supposed to do with the math, with how your calculator functions. This actually behaves in a way it should. So this is why I love this calculator. Yeah. No, because I would rather that you take something like this, 14 over 20, do divide. You see, you, you see, you don't really need that power. Don't enter 14 over 20 and say, give me a decimal. You do that by taking 14 divided by 20 anyway. See what I mean? And doing the reverse, taking a decimal and converting it to a fraction, 
Um, that, that has no use for us in statistics. But that's what I'm saying. Very often, you can go out and spend money on a big calculator. And you know, another story, this is a true story, just so I can emphasize this. You know, when I was uh, a student once at ELAC, I think I was at ELAC, yeah. Um, I went out and bought the first, it was the first scientific algebraic, I mean the first algebraic graphing calculator. It was the HPSX or some weird thing like that, 48SX. And back then, that calculator was about $350. And I saved for like, I don't know, five months or something like that, who knows. To, for the money, I said, you know what, I get that calculator, oh, I'm, you know, forget it, there's no stopping me now, you know, forget it. I have that calculator. It's going to do everything I want it to do. I didn't even have to do anything. That calculator came with two manuals, not one, that were this thick. Pretty thick manuals, just for that one calculator. Okay? So, here I was with my $400, $350 calculator with two manuals to read. Do you guys want to know something? It was much easier learning the math than actually learning how to do something in that calculator. Okay? And I have found that throughout, I, st I still bought it, I didn't know this yet, but I bought it. You know, some people, we work that way sometimes. I found out even later, all the way through graduate school, taking physics courses, you know, math courses, graduate math courses, I never once had a need to use the power of that calculator, not once. That was a complete waste. In fact, this turned out to be all I ever needed. Okay? Um, if you're going to do heavy duty computation that would require uh, heavy duty processing power, you're not going to do it on a calculator. You're going to do it on a computer. So, um, you know, it's something to think about. Now, some people disagree. They say, well, my, my TI statistics calculator does everything I want it to do. Okay, good. And now it's easier to use. Yeah, you're probably right. But what starts to happen is you actually lose the essence of what you're doing using those calculators. And then the course really becomes a calculator course. And personally, I'm not there yet. I haven't given up on you guys. Okay? I think you guys can do this without that. I haven't quit. I'm still fighting. That's where jujitsu comes in. Okay? You, you won't quit. You won't tap out ever. All right? So if you want to get one, I'm not saying you have to. I like this one for those beneficial reasons. This, you work backwards, you know, and this will be a problem later. But some people will use it, and that's okay. If you're successful, you're successful. God bless you. For me, I had to do, you know, I like this. No big deal. In my demonstrations, you will see me use a TI-80 whatever calculator. You'll see in that demonstration. I think it's 81 or 82. That's also a good one, but that's more expensive. Those are more expensive, about 100 bucks, maybe now 90 or something, or 80. Okay, you guys okay with that calculator issue? And when I test you, I'm actually looking on, at your work. Not that I have to see you divide, but you'll see what I'm talking about. You have to go through some of that work. So um, the calculator can only take you so far. All right, everybody okay with that? Sure. Um, this one's like FX115MS. It's the new Casio. You know, even if they have a newer version, that's good. Some of these, like I said, these old TIs or the cheaper version of the TIs, they just work backwards. And um, it's kind of it's kind of strange. I can help you with it along the way, but I may not always be there for you when you use it. So, you know, just something to think about. So, are you guys ready now? What is 14 divided by 20? What do you get? Point 0.7. Zero, 0, what else? Give me all the numbers. Is it just point 0.7, zero, 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 zero? Okay, good. All right, now let me think. How am I going to approximate this to the nearest thousandths? This is in the what? Tenths? Hundredths, thousandths, okay. Look at the next number to the right. That's a zero. What does that mean? Do I add one to this zero? No. What does it mean? I leave it how? I leave it alone. Okay? I leave it alone. 
Now, I could write this down 